Hey guys, welcome back to the PropSmith. Now today, we're outside, it's sunny, I got off work a lot earlier than I thought I was going to, so I'm going to put at least this video out today, if not a second one. So what we're going to do today, if you haven't already read the title of the video, I'm going to do a very simple, cheap tunic. Now this is not my idea. I have copied it from LARPgasm. Max over there does great videos. If you haven't gone and looked at any of those, make sure to do that. I am following his method. I don't know exactly how this is going to work out or what's going to happen, but we'll see. I'll catch you guys after the title card. Alright guys, so what we have here is I have a white shirt and this off green shirt. Then I'm going to be pouring, this is coffee, excuse me, this is tea, this is coffee. This has some red and green food coloring in it and if I remember from art classes from elementary school, red and green make some sort of brown. Now, the white shirt I figure is going to turn out just fine. What my problem is with the screen shirt so if you can see it and has this print on it so I'm gonna see if I can't stain up that print enough that you can't really see it but we're gonna figure it out now as you can tell it's fairly sunny today but it's also kind of cold so this may take a while to dry not exactly sure so I'm gonna set up my tripod put this on there and we'll go from there all right guys, I've got my tripod set up. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the white shirt. I'm gonna start staining the armpits and around the collar first. Probably I'm gonna start with the, the coffee mixture, see how that works. Alright, so I've kind of doused those. I'm going to go back with the tea, which is surprisingly, I made it super strong, so it's darker than the coffee. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but personally I can see it. The coffee is steaming out here on the shirts because it's kind of cold. Alright, now that that's done, the only thing left to do is sit and wait and see how they turn out. 
I may mix up some some red food dye and some water and splash it on the white one. Maybe maybe do a blood stain where that logo is. But I'm gonna wait till these dry. I'll come back here probably about an hour, see how they are. I'll catch you guys then. Hey guys, so that took an exorbitant amount of time. Um, it's actually been like a week and a half since I started this project. Now, I started it on a sunny day. Well, since then, and I mean, it's, it's winter in Missouri. Um, it's gotten super cold again. It's been rainy on and off enough that I took these inside and uh, <laughs> used my heat gun to dry them. And they still didn't really come out the way I exactly wanted them to. Like, the white one would have been great. Except I forgot to check the size on it, and it's too small. But the color came out nice. Like, that looks old and worn, and it came out nice, right? This one, the coloration's on it. I don't know if you guys can see, but the coloration, I like the coloration. The only problem with it is this stupid thing that I, like, Coffee, tea, I mean, I even hit it with a little bit of spray paint, like base primer to see if I could darken this area at all. Um, I even hit it with red, <laughs> red food dye and water, so it would literally just stain. And I can see red, but it's still popping through, so I'm going to have to figure out some kind of um, tabard or pauldron or spalder or something to sit and cover this up but I think it came out alright like the neckline is alright I cut right at the seam uh, I had a little thing from Crown Royal bag that I put through it I cut the sleeves I didn't cut much off of them I'm probably gonna take them up a little bit more and cut more here to here maybe to give more of a pointed look um, they do roll. It's it's not bad though, at least not on this shirt. My only problem is it tends to tends to come forward just a little bit. That's probably just me. I mean, I even cut the uh, the hem off the bottom. And what I actually like about this shirt is I actually have some damage to it already. This was an old, you know, goofing around shirt. So it's got some holes in it. It's got some tears. It looks like it's been damaged. Now what I'm probably going to do is find some kind of stain or something. Maybe a wood stain and put a little bit in like a tub of water or do a whole like bunch of tea or coffee in a tub of water and just let it sit in the like basin until it evaporates. Um, but I don't know. I like this color green, I just don't know what to do about that. So if you guys have a suggestion, make sure to drop a, a comment below because I want to know. Now this whole, whole uh, tunic thing was expired, inspired by Max over at LARPgasm. So if Max, if you're watching this, thank you for the idea. It is super basic, it just... I botched it somehow. It's not anything on his method, it's just I wasn't paying attention to the white shirt or it would have been perfect. If I would have gotten, you know, like this size instead of thinking, oh, I've had a white shirt I've had for years, it'll still fit. It doesn't still fit. <laughs> so, that's my screw up of this week. Now, my next build, I've actually already completed. I'm working on editing the video. It is a new boffer sword. Now, if you guys want to see how that's made, stay tuned. I'll have the video edited in probably by tonight, actually. But the tape job is horrible on it, I know. 
Uh, I left the back open because I'm technically not done with the video. But I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek on what's up and coming. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and drop a comment down below. You know, help me figure this out. You know, the whole printed T. Um, if I end up just having to go out and buy another shirt, I'm going to have to go out and buy another shirt. Anyway, thanks guys.